Oh, chat. Toxic, toxic, toxic. <laughs> It's been a little bit of a minute, but I am back with another wash day and chill. If you do not know what wash day and chill is because you're new to my channel, it is where I take you guys along with me through my wash day and chit chat about random things. But today I have a very specific topic that I'm going to be talking about. Um, and it is going to be acknowledging my toxic behaviors. I've seen it um, a lot on Twitter where um, it'll say like, name one of your toxic traits or whatever and you know people just quote the tweet with you know things that they find to be toxic within themselves and I just thought it would be cool to kind of share with you guys things that I struggle with because I know um in past videos I kind of like I don't want it to be like I'm preachy preachy like I know everything because I don't <laughs> but um so I think this is just a way to open up and let you guys know you know what deeper what's going on inside of here this person named Candace. So, like I said, if you are new to this channel, well, I didn't say it, but if you are new to this channel, make sure you click the subscribe button and also make sure you turn turn on your post notifications so you do not miss when I upload. I swear I got some content coming for you fast, quick, and in a hurry. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing a wash and go per use. Um, I already washed my hair using the Head & Shoulders Moisture Boost Shampoo and the matching conditioner. These have been like my like staple like shower products. Also with the deep um, moisture mask. I didn't use that today. I actually used my Apple G 2 Minute Reconstructor um, Protein Treatment or whatever. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so I have my hair in four sections. And the first thing that I'm going to be using is the Hydration Custard. The Eden Body Works Hibiscus and Honey line. And um, I received this in PR. I didn't receive the entire line, but I might go get it if I like this. And I'm going to be using this as my leave-in. And then for my gel, I'm going to use... The Eco Styler Gold Gel, which I haven't used in a minute. I actually only used it once, um, so we gonna see. Okay, so ooh, this nice and thick. Ooh, I like it. Um, okay, so the first thing that is on my list, I actually made a list of these things, is the need to control in order to feel at ease. So. I'm a Scorpio. I don't know if that means anything to certain people, but for me, it really makes sense. But, like, if I'm not in control of a situation, I feel just very unhappy. <laughs> like, I just feel unsettled, and it's just not a good feeling. I just don't feel at ease. And that is very toxic because I shouldn't have to be control in control of a situation that involves somebody else because, um... I should feel power in myself you know what I'm saying like I shouldn't have to like you know power struggle with someone constantly and I find myself doing that because if um, I'm not the one who got the last word or if I'm not the one who um, who blocked them or <laughs> if you know like stuff like that it like kind of doesn't sit well with me this feels really good on my hair by the way um so yeah, that's number one, and I'm talking about like throughout my whole life. So certain things I'm not as bad as I used to be. Certain things I kind of have let go of at this point, just you know through growth. <laughs> but some things I'm still struggling with. So yeah, I think that is that on that. My next toxic trait is um, I tend to make very impulsive decisions, like split second decisions that usually I end up regretting in some way or not feeling the need for it. like not really regretting it but feeling like you know if I would have just waited a little bit longer to like process I probably wouldn't have made that decision I would have made a different decision and um, I'm definitely working on that trying to just be more thoughtful and careful about the things that I do and um, not making rash decisions based off the way that I feel in that moment um, because you know, sometimes it's really unnecessary and a lot of times the first thing that comes to your mind to do isn't the right way or isn't the best way to handle the situation. So I've really been working on trying to process things and like I said in one of my previous videos, kind of like writing things down, writing out like the angry things that I want to say or 
the things that I want to do, just getting it on paper and then waiting and then going back and then I'm able to look at it like, girl, you was doing way too much. Like, it's not even that serious. Um, because a lot of times, like, you know, it's not that serious. So that's one thing. And then, like, also with that, it's like I tend to always feel like the way that I feel is, like, it's actual and it's factual. Like, if I feel a way, if I feel like something's going on, if, if in my mind I, like, truly believe something, it has to be true. Like, it has to be. Like, there's really no other explanation as to why I would think it other than it being true. And why would I be sitting this way if it wasn't actually happening? Like, it don't make sense. <laughs> but sometimes, like, it do make sense that you're wrong. Like, you don't know what you're talking about and you just created some shit. Sorry, excuse me. Some stuff in your mind. And it's really not based in anything that's like truthful or actually happening. So I've been working on that, working on kind of trying to find answers first, like concrete answers, trying to um, ask questions before assuming things. And, you know, so I don't make, you know, a, a, a hole out of myself by just assuming something is true and it's really not. And I kind of do that pretty often or I used to now now I'm really trying not to feel much at all like as it relates to other people I really just try and like stay in my corner you know stay in my bag and you know live life that way because it's actually a lot easier at this point at least but yeah that is that if you guys struggle with any of these things, um, let me know. Or if anything, whatever it is that you feel like your toxic behaviors behaviors are, um, make sure you put them down below. What else? Um, I can be very, like, I'm a very passionate person. And, you know, sometimes that can look different. Sometimes it can look like a good thing. Sometimes it could be a bad thing. But when i get the urge to do something when i feel like i need to get this done this is what i want to do i'm passionate about it i kind of obsess over it to the point where i exhaust myself so i'll have an idea and i won't be able to sleep without completing it like i won't be able to sleep without getting it done but then by the time i get it done i'm burnt out and i feel like i don't want nothing to do with it no more so like really just struggling to find balance like I'm a very extreme person so in my emotions at least in my personality I'm actually very like calm or whatever but in my emotions I'm very extreme so either I'm super happy or I'm like done with everything so like or not even that but if I'm super into it or I'm just over it like it's just it's crazy so lately I've really been trying to pace myself with certain things. I've really been trying to give something my attention little by little, like step one step at a time. I try and like do everything all at once and then um, I kind of abandon it because now I'm exhausted and I don't want nothing to do with it. But that's not healthy at all because um, that's, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just not good. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. But I've really, really been working on that. So one thing that I've done to try and help with that is um, making to-do lists. So if you follow me on Instagram and watch my Instagram stories, you'll know that I um, posted about um, to-do lists and, you know, how, they, how they've helped me because it kind of, like, the night before, I can, like, with a clear mind say, okay, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do this. So I'm, like, divvying up my time between things that need my attention instead of, like, honing on, honing in so deeply on one specific thing to where I don't see anything else. Like, giving my attention to something little by little each day until it gets completed instead of just, like, being, like, super obsessive over it. So if you guys struggle with, um, you know, that as well, Try to do lists, it really kind of like 
helps if like don't put like a million and one things on your to-do list like try and be reasonable about it about what you can get done and then once you get it done there is this sense of satisfaction and um accomplishment and that's one thing that being an entrepreneur has been very 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 hard to get because i have all of this free time all of my time is free all of it so if at a job when you work nine to five you feel satiated you feel accomplished you feel like you know you did your due diligence you went to work you came back and now you have time to do whatever it is that you want with entrepreneurs it's not the same because um i create my own schedule so if i work from nine to five i still might feel like dang there's so much more that i could do like and then you end up working all day and then that's just so tiring and then you honestly feel like you got nothing done because there's it's an infinite amount of things that you could do and infinite like when you are your brand there is so many things that you can do to continue to elevate yourself um but you kind of fall into that rabbit hole of trying to do everything and then you know it's just not healthy so you know at a job when i was working if i ain't get something done by the uh, by the end of the day i'm going home and i'm not losing no sleep over it i'm not losing any sleep i don't care i will see it in the morning i'll i'll handle it when i clock in at 8 45. so you know with being an entrepreneur it's not like that so I've really just been trying to find the balance and naturally I'm just a very extreme person so it's been kind of hard to to gain that balance because either I'm just like I ain't trying to do nothing or I'm like let's go gotta get up gotta do it gotta do it gotta do it and then I end up going in another cycle of not wanting to do nothing because I just burnt myself out in the last cycle. So just trying to get out of that cycle of just like highs and lows um, because I'm very prone to it. I'm very prone to anxiety and Oh child, toxic, toxic, toxic. This isn't really wowing me, so I'm gonna go get um, a different gel. I'll be right back. Okay, so I went and got my um, Auntie Jackie's Coconut Curling Jelly. This is fire, so if you haven't got it, make sure you try it because I really, really love it. But yeah, what was I saying? Like the word toxic is really like, has just been popularized, I think, by social media and stuff like that. But it's not really toxic you know everybody has things that they can improve about themselves and that doesn't doesn't necessarily mean you are toxic meaning that you are going to cause cause harm to yourself or other people it's just um things that need improvement basically so it might actually be toxic if you don't acknowledge them you just kind of you know think oh this is just the way that i am like those are the most irritating people like okay i understand that that's just the way that you are sweetie <laughs> but you don't want to just be the way that you are like you want to constantly grow and constantly um learn more about yourself and you know tweak things it's not necessarily that there's something wrong with you but who doesn't want to be better like who doesn't want to um to evolve and to to change and i think that starts with um you know acknowledging things that you can improve and these are things that I can improve these are things that I have improved um, over time when I was younger I was kind of the person that would say anything like my parents will tell you um, I was never wrong I would be like no and I will always be trying to explain myself to my parents and always like very combative like going back and forth like I'm right like you're gonna hear me I'm right and now I'm not that type of person at all. I do enjoy debates, <laughs> but I can acknowledge when I'm wrong now. I can apologize about something that I've done and I can see my wrongdoing. And that's something that um, when I was younger, I had a problem doing. And I'm proud of that. Like, I'm proud that my parents can look at me today and be like, you know, like, you really have grown from that kid that, you know, we couldn't tell anything because now... I appreciate my parents feedback I appreciate the things that they say and um, like the advice that they give and stuff like that and um, I'm not nearly as defensive as I used to be um, so I think that's really what it's like all about that's what life is all about it's about just you know constantly moving forward constantly moving forward 
accepting yourself for who you are, but at the same time, recognizing things that could be even better. Um, things that you can improve on or whatever so all right y'all so that's all the exposing that I'm gonna do for today but I'm gonna come back and show you guys my final results like I always do and yeah I'm gonna do the other side of my hair let it dry and then I'll be back all right guys so this is my final product it's actually way later in the day um, and I fluffed my hair out to death because I wanted a really big look um, and I also had to diffuse it because I had to go somewhere tonight and my hair wasn't fully dry by the time it was time for me to go and that always gives me a little bit more frizz but my hair was super soft with the products that I used I'm gonna have them linked below and like I said if you guys want to share anything below just do it like i want my comments to be like an open book where we can help each other support each other be vulnerable and you know just be transparent with each other so do that and if you are watching my video right now make sure you um screenshot or um record and post it on instagram and tag me and i will repost you and i actually think that's all i have to say today i'll see you guys in the next one bye